Hello everyone and welcome to Pophology. Welcome to the first day of December. Hopefully your first day is going well. It is 25, almost 24 days until Christmas and I'm here with my Christmas tree. Maybe you can see them, maybe not. It smells really good. Uh, it has its price tag still on it and this tree is from Heart T Tree Farms. Real trees, real tradition. Don't really know what that that's supposed to mean real tradition of a Christmas tree or something. Anyways, it's a mountain fresh Christmas tree from Grassy Creek, North Carolina. And their tag also says from our family to yours. Interesting. You know, it's kind of surprising um, that that isn't trademarked. You know what I mean? The from our family to yours. Didn't someone used to say that from Food Network or somewhere? Who is it? Paula Dean. Yeah, she's not on the Food Network anymore, but I think she used to say that. Yeah, the Christmas tree smells good. It's very fresh. I, I like it. We'll have to show it to you. Uh, Emily and I will have to show it when we decorate it and everything. So, but hopefully your Wednesday is going well. Hopefully you're having a good week so far. I love uh, vlogging in December, even though I've only done it one time. But it's fun to see what people do uh, for Vlogmas, people that vlog every day in December. And hmm, who knows? We'll see what... I, I like watching people's Vlogmas vlogs. I think it's always fun. So I'm not sure I'm going to have a lot of like interesting Vlogmas, you know, vlogs happening. I'm not going to do something every day because that is way too much work. And... Um, you know, like do a Christmas idea or whatever, a holiday thing every day. That's, that's a lot of work. I know I was watching this person and they, uh, they've been planning their vlogmas for like four months and they have a new idea for every day and they bought all this stuff to do. I don't know. I mean, Hey, if you enjoy it, that's great. I know some people are seasonal vloggers and they just vlog for, uh, Vlogmas. That'd be fun. You know, if you're going to go all out. So, but yeah, we'll see what happens in December. December is always fun to, to do stuff in. Maybe we'll go to the lights um, in the center of Indy, whatever it's called, circle, the circle. I haven't been there yet. Um, so I don't even know. I assume it looks the same. <laughs> Just uh, a circle with lights all around it and music playing. So, and horses everywhere. Yeah, I remember doing that last year. It's so much easier when you go not on a weekend. Because I think... Um, man, I remember the traffic just being so backed up. It was crazy. And then there's the Christmas lights at the Indiana State Fair. So, and I think that's 30 or $40 a car. I, I don't know if I would, I don't, I, I really don't have a desire to do that, you know? So, but, you know, it is kind of interesting. I'm sure it's really fun. I guess if you have, it's, it's something very easy to do, to do when you have a, Maybe a lot of family or kids and stuff. You can just, you know, no one has to get out of the car. You can just drive around, look at the lights at the state fair or where, wherever it's at. So, and I, I don't know if we're going to new fields this year. I would like to. I mean, there's always a chance we will go, but you know, it's already December. Next week is December 8th or something like that. And then the week after that is, you know, a week after that, <laughs> a week after that. So, is next Friday the, the 8th or is that the 10th? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, that's uh, my day so far. Hasn't been too crazy. I mean, actually, it's been pretty crazy. It, it's been pretty busy. Um, I've been getting my Christmas list ready, getting Christmas gifts bought and stuff. And yeah, 
we'll see. We'll see what happens at Christmas. Hopefully all the packages get there on time. I think they will if you order right now. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm not positive, but I would imagine you would have until Friday to get, you know, possibly guaranteed shipping. But after that, I, will, I bet it's going to be insane, depending on what you buy. So, yeah. And then I have to do an Excel exam. That That's just, I'm not looking forward to this right now. I got to do like this five-page Excel exam, and um, it's 8.30, so I got to do that. So I'm going to work on it, get it done, so I can go to my class tomorrow and be prepped for that. Or, or whatever, you just then go to the next class. So that's what I'm doing. And hmm, after I do the exam, I'll upload the video and then probably chill for a little bit and go to bed. So uh, this tree was planted four years ago. That's crazy. I wonder if that's a good investment. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's a very complicated investment to buy Christmas trees, you know? Like what if they all die? Then they're, you know, all that time you spent working on this tree. So wild. What I do think is a good investment if you live in areas that can, that they can grow in would be Oh, what is it? Truffle oak trees. Oak trees that have been plant that have been given the spores of truffles or something. And I think they cost anywhere between forty and a hundred dollars a tree. But they're able to grow truffles underneath underneath the tree. And and, and I th- I do think it takes about twenty years. But hey, I mean you spend even if it's a hundred dollars a tree. And, and, you know, I assume, like, if you're going to live there for 20 years, I mean, at your house, it's probably profitable. But, I mean, let's be real. Like, what happens if 20 years goes down the road and the truffles don't grow or whatever? I don't know. I don't even know if that's how long it takes. It might take less time. So, but I know there's, there's, I think there's only, like, maybe five to 10 companies in America that sell those type of trees. Now you can import them, I think, but I think it's kind of complicated. So, man, that would be so interesting. Um, but yeah, that is all. Are you doing anything this week that is holiday related, Christmas related? I... This weekend, I don't remember or know what we're doing. All I know is uh, I have class, and we'll, we'll probably do something this weekend. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Taking it a day at a time. So, yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to try watercolor painting, and I've mentioned this one other time. So I might, in the next month or so, try to watercolor paint something and we'll see how, where it goes. Even if it's just like whatever I want to do. And I'm not an artist by any means. I'm not, I don't even have like that eye for stuff, but I think it would be kind of fun. Um, and I got to get a puzzle for Virginia when I go home. Cause I always do a puzzle with my family And I like doing holiday, Christmas, or like um, like, uh, seasonal puzzles. So I might do that, look for that. I was looking on my my sister's Amazon list, and she requested um, a puzzle that is made by like this company called Magic Puzzle or something. I'm getting it wrong, but it's a unique... Uh, design. And I think, um, so it's like a one of a kind picture or something like that made for this puzzle. And it looked really cool. And it's cut in a unique way that most puzzles are not 
uh, cut into. And at the end of the puzzle, you get a prize. And they give you an envelope in, inside the box, and it, tell, it, it says, uh, do not open until you've completed the puzzle or something. And I wonder what's inside. I'm not going to read the Amazon comments and, and run it for me, but that would be interesting to get. I might get that puzzle or one of those type of puzzles that kind of has like a gift inside at the end of it. I don't, it's not, I don't think it's supposed to be anything of value. It might just be like some, I don't know, random trinket or memory that you can remember doing this puzzle with your friends or maybe just, I don't know what it is. So, but that is all. That is all. If you're still watching this, comment down below puzzle. Do you like puzzles? My uh, granny had a Thomas Kincaid puzzle that I guess was worth a little bit of money. It was like a rare Thomas Kincaid puzzle. I don't know if she still has it, but hey, I guess there's money in puzzles if you, uh, you know, in theory, you could probably, you probably could make a really easy puzzle business. Guys, what do you, what do you do? Go on Getty image. You know what I mean? You buy the rights to an image, depending on the image. I, you know, it's really, it's really interesting because there's different levels of how much stuff costs. So like, let's say this hoodie, I want to buy the rights of, I don't know, just some random picture that Getty images has. That's not infringing on, uh, a brand. So who who could that be? Uh, I mean, Mike Tyson or I don't know, maybe like the circle of downtown Indy or random picture in NYC. You can buy that picture or you can buy a famous picture from Getty Images and license it for a year. And they give you a license to make however much product you want to make. And I think it ranges from zero to a hundred 200 to 500. And to be honest, I, I, you know, I really think it's not that crazy. Like I think zero to 500 might be, and depending on the picture, 750 bucks or less or less, sometimes $300 for 500 products. You know, some pictures might be like uh, $200 for 2000 uh, pieces of products. So you do that, get the rights to the image, uh, work with, Someone maybe somewhere who prints puzzles or print it, print your own, boom, done. You know, you can sell, make a little Amazon shop, you know, prove that you have the rights to this image. Yeah, make holiday puzzles. You can make your own puzzle machine cutter. And instead of getting a 3D printer, just get a little, I don't know, cabinet slicer thing or a puzzle cutter or a 3D printer that cuts, I don't know. Boom, make your own design. There's a there's at least a three thousand dollar a year business for you. <laughs> unless you you know, unless you're really good at it. There's obviously money in puzzles. That little mystery thing at the end of that puzzle that my that was on that I was just talking about. Hey, people buy it. I mean, I saw the reviews on it. It was like a lot of review Amazon reviews on there. So but you could do that with anything. You could Buy an image, put it on a a vegetable cutter, you know, or a you know potato peeler. Put try to find an image with like uh, not Elmo, but Kermit the Frog. Uh, put Kermit the Frog's face on a potato peeler. Sell it on Amazon for like seven bucks. There you go. I mean, I don't know if that's legal. Um, they may own all the rights to it. But technically, if you can find it and you can buy the rights to it, there you go. There's your case. Potato peelers are pretty cheap as well. And if you can find a way to print them on, print pictures on them, there you go. There's another idea. Make a potato peeler brand that just has a bunch of images all over it. I feel like people would buy that. Or make any kitchen utensil with a bunch of just patterns on it, but that are interesting. Not coffee mugs. <laughs> so, okay, a sifter, a sifter with images on it, a comic book sifter. That's a bad idea. Don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you tomorrow. I gotta go take this ex uh, Excel exam thing, and that's all. 
So if no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. I will see you tomorrow. I have class tomorrow. So it's going to be late, later than normal. <laughs> so not that that matters. I mean, sometimes I don't post like 2 a.m. So, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.